this video, I want to give you some advice about widening your squat stance and widening your bench press grip. Before I get into that topic, guys, I encourage you to check out my new book called Massive Iron. It is linked below. If you don't have Massive Iron, please consider getting my book. It is, has 200 pages of content. It will help you maximize any training system. It also contains 20 unique workouts for every goal. So if you're not satisfied with your results, you need to get my book or I'm going to tell your mom that you're satisfied with with horrible gains. No, I w really wouldn't tell your mom. I'm just being stupid. So guys, let's talk about widening your squat stance and widening your bench press grip. If you're looking to widen your squat stance or you're looking to widen your bench press grip width, there is a proper way I recommend doing so. Once you have your, let's say you're at your existing width with your squat stance or your bench press grip width, you don't want to go out and just widen that squat stance by a huge dramatic distance. You also don't want to just move your bench press grip width out by a dramatic difference. What you want to do, and this is what I did about four years ago when I started widening my bench press grip, is you want to make slow changes about every three to four weeks. Take some time. Move your foot width out about an inch on your squats and run that for three to four weeks. Take your bench press grip and just move it out by about a pinky's width and run that for three to four weeks. You want to make slow, you want to make slow progressive changes. You don't want to make dramatic changes. This gives this accomplishes a couple things. It gives you a chance to analyze whether this feels good. It gives you a chance to make adjustments. Let's say you're squatting and you open that stance just a little bit, open your foot width a little bit. It gives you a chance to tinker with your setup, to make sure everything's good, to videotape your setup, to make changes, and you know to see, hey, does this feel okay? Am I making the right decision, or do I need to pull it back to where it was? And you also get a chance for your body to adapt those tendons, those ligaments, those muscles, all the systems in your body to adapt to those changes. So when I was making my change on my bench press, I moved it out a pinky and then I stuck with that for three to four weeks and then I moved that out another pinky and I stuck with that for three to four weeks. And it took me, I don't know, three, four months to widen it, to go to a wider bench press grip and everything felt good. I just took that slow transition. I didn't make that big, huge change, and I allowed my body to adapt. I allowed myself to to analyze, you know, how it felt, to adjust my form, to tighten my form down, etc. So, if you want to try, if you feel it's necessary that you want to try a wider stance squat, or you want to try a wider grip bench press, you know, to improve your strength, so your strength training, your power lifter and you just simply want to widen these your stance and your grip width just to see how your body responds, go slow. On your squat stance, move it out an inch and stick with that for three to four weeks. On your bench press, move it out about a pinky. This is your pinky, kids, that little finger at the end of your hand. Move it out a pinky at a time. Stick with that for three to four weeks. When you go into your sets, when you make this change, when you make this first change, Build up slowly and normally. Don't go for super heavy, near maximal weight. See how your body's doing that first workout. If everything feels normal, then do your normal workouts. Don't rush into changes. You have nothing but time. Time is your friend. Don't take big, don't make big dramatic form changes and then slap on a lot of heavy weight. That's stupid. That's a good way to get injured and it doesn't allow you to take some time and assess how those changes are impacting your body. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions regarding this topic or anything else, I'd be glad to help you out. There's a link below to a Q&A. You can post your questions. I answer every question at that Q&A, and I'd be glad to help you out. If you made it this far into the video and you have yet to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. I try to present the best possible content. Boom, boom. Oops. That just happened. I try to present the best possible content I can to help you guys build muscle and strength as quickly as possible. So, guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.